I stand by like keeping things affordable. Mm -hmm. Um, do you, if you want to charge $70 for a shirt, mm -hmm. but like, that's just not me. Yeah. I would much rather charge somebody $70 for like a service mm -hmm. to where like I'm using my energy, my gas, um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I ultimately want to make people feel good, like yeah. feel cool, like mm -hmm. feel stylish. Mm -hmm. Um, cause like who doesn't want to feel yeah. like that, you know? Um, I, w I would love to style you in a brats inspired look. Um, what I would do is definitely something designer esque, something like tacky, but like good tacky. <laughs> this, Chanel tank top. Beautiful. I'm gonna have you hold it. These black contrast Ooh, pants. Yep. The buckle on the waist. This black Chanel purse. Okay. Pony hair Ooh. boots to complete. Yes, I love that heel. Yes, nice square heel. Can I talk about like, oh my god, like, what do you think? Fire on my ox cord. I speak like I graduated Oxford. And if you're questioning and if you're not sure, then hey, I got some time so we can talk more. Talk more. Got my fire on my ox cord. What's your preference? Do you like rap or rock more? Whatever that you like, I got it all for. You so what it do? I got a lot more. A lot of the times people ask me to style a monochromatic look. Uh, I love to do colors, but I also love to do just a white monochromatic. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with this top, um, Victorian S pair, um, these like totally street style harem linen pants mm -hmm. with a black buckle belt, mm -hmm. just to like contrast the styles mm -hmm. as well. Cause like chic yeah. and then, like love it. Yeah. Um, I also love those two fabrics together. Mm -hmm. And then definitely an off-white jacket I would pair with like a completely mm -hmm. true white outfit. Um, this one's like one of my favorites. Yeah, that's beautiful. I was looking this at that earlier. This is not earlier. vintage. It's Unif. Mm -hmm. It's from one of their first collections. Oh, really? Uh -huh. I love it. Also, it's like that glossy kind of like reflective yeah, while this so, is very subdued. Yes, yeah. yes. I love mixing patterns mm -hmm. and textures yeah. um, and gradients of the mm -hmm. same color as well. I would pair this outfit with um, classic white Nike Air Force One. So we can unwind, we can unwind, whatever you like, but I got mad fire on the ox cord. I speak like I graduated Oxford. And if you're questioning, and if you're not sure, then hey, I got some time that we can talk more, talk more. I got mad fire on my ox cord. What's your preference? One of my favorite looks to do is a super colorful look. Uh, As you can obviously. tell from your shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it just makes me super happy. It's why I do what I do mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, I would start with something simple with pops of color because mm -hmm. I'm going to be adding lots more color to it. So we're not going to go quite yeah. over overboard Starting with a little base. Yet. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to pair it with these lime green okay. overalls with the chain on the front because that's a look. Mm -hmm. And then over that, I would do this cow jacket. Oh my gosh, yes. Also kind of mixing those patterns or yes. textures again. Pattern mixing, yeah. yep. And then um, if it's cold out, because why not add some more color? <laughs> and I love a good like nostalgic novelty yeah. piece as well. And then I would also pair those with some white Nike Air Force Ones. Do you like rap or rock more? Whatever that you like, I got it all for. You so what you do, I got a lot more time. So what you wanna hear? Cause I don't really care. Cause I got time to spare, but I don't got time to waste. So what's your music taste? Lot of trouble, lot of bass. Lot of trouble, lot of bass. Uh, so if somebody asked me to do an androgynous look, non-binary look, I definitely want to start with something super feminine. Mm -hmm. um, usually a corset yeah. or a skirt. Um, corset was the case in this mm -hmm. um, because I just, I love this thing. Yeah. This is called boned. Boned? Okay. Yeah. When it, when it has like structure where you mm -hmm. can't like really bend okay. it all the way. Um, snaps in the back. I love a turtleneck underneath a corset. Okay. Bright colored one because mm -hmm. that's me. Mm -hmm. So I would put that over this okay. turtleneck. 
Ralph and Lauren. And then Ralph, Ralph Lauren, yes. And then I would pair them with these high waisted denim shorts. Wow. Probably roll them up a little bit. Yeah. And then I would pair that with <laughs> these wood grain Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Wow, amazing. And they have like that kind of distressing that gives it like actual character. Yeah, so these are old as shit yeah. too. Um, sorry, can't You're cuss. Good. And I, I wear these a lot. So, but they're so comfortable. I think they go with pretty much everything. Um, and then the last thing, if somebody asked me to stack some patterns for them, I love this like 60s tiki Peter Pan collar <laughs> linen shirt. It's just crazy. I love it. Pair that with my favorite overalls. Check her overall, and then I would also pair that with emo bucket hat. So yeah, as you can tell, not too many patterns I would yeah. have mixed together <laughs> with this tan choker, okay, cute. o ring choker. Um, Thought it was a watch for a second. <laughs> and then with these um, cat eye skinny glasses. So I really love uh, like the got you bundles. I've, yeah. Like, seen, like, I've just seen like your reviews on that. Yeah. And, like, um, just like really giving people like an actually good experience and like giving yeah. them like a good deal because like a lot of people you can like sell all those pieces individually and make mm -hmm. a lot more money. But mm -hmm. um, I just want to know like how has like those bundles kind of changed your process in regards to thrifting or like yeah. how has it changed um, the types of items you thrift? I sure. Guess? Um, it's definitely expanded what I go source mm -hmm. because I get thrown all of these different themes, which is so fun for me because yeah. like I love going outside of my comfort zone mm -hmm. just because like that's where growth happens. Yeah, um, so it's been really awesome. I didn't know how successful it would be. Um, all of my friends who have known me for a while, they have always paid me to style them oh, really? or just like give, given me an amount of money mm -hmm. and then said, go source oh, and wow. find me some stuff. Yeah. Um, so I do like outfits, but I, I, I also do like packs to okay. where like you can like say, I want a 70s mm -hmm. theme pack. Oh, um, yeah. I'm a huge believer in affordable vintage. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much out there there's so much out there like let's be honest i don't pay a lot for it yeah. i do have to make a living mm -hmm. and i do also want to save Absolutely. but like i stand by like keeping things affordable mm -hmm. depop has opened up so many doors for me i feel like i joined the community at a really good time they were like just coming to the united states mm -hmm. and i feel like i have been growing with them mm -hmm. which has been really cool um it's led me to a lot of other awesome depop sellers mm -hmm. and now we have pop-ups every month. Do you feel like it's all, the platform has always been kind of like just more eccentric or do you feel like it's kind of come into that character as more and more sellers have entered the platform? Um, I feel like it's always been eccentric. I feel like it's always that, I mean, that's what drew me to it. There's so many different seller platforms that I could have chosen from um, and Depop stuck out to me. Uh, it's the same fees as Etsy. Mm -hmm. So I, I moved for a reason. Mm -hmm. Etsy's super saturated and Depop is becoming saturated, but it's still like, I feel like it's a community. Yeah. Um, it's, it's always accepting of every style, yeah. but I feel like the most creative people are selling on there for sure. So when I started eBay, um, it was super generic. I wasn't even modeling. I was just taking photos. Um, I was only on eBay for like a couple months okay. and then my friend was like have you heard of Etsy it's like a little bit more creative and I don't know if you like remember this or if I'm just gonna be dating myself but um, people were using a lot of studying on like corsets so like for example like this bustier 
like if it was like an actual like that okay, yeah. they would stud they would completely oh, stud okay. the boob part yeah. um like so outlines. i made one of those okay. it was a black boned lace corset and i studded the breast mm -hmm. areas and it looked awesome um and it sold for like 50 bucks oh wow and i heard that first little cha-ching sound okay. on my phone and i was like wow maybe i can actually do this and i was like 19 at the time okay. so that that was super exciting for me and then here it is now <laughs> it's all history from there what kind of advice or like words of wisdom do you think you would give to someone who's wanting to start reselling but is just like scared to jump into it yeah i mean first of all don't be scared you're wanting to try it for a reason mm -hmm. Um, the main tip I would give is to be consistent, mm -hmm. um, to not doubt yourself and to kind of like stick with your own style because mm -hmm. even though this market is super saturated, like you can definitely still stick out mm -hmm. and be successful and like even maybe start your own niche, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, so absolutely. yeah, that's what I would mm -hmm. tell them. <laughs>